Mom, what's so important that you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, Nick, honey, there's something I want you to see, actually. Saying that, my mother in law, Alice, smirked and turned on her computer. And then she began to play a video. And upon seeing that video, I began to realize that this was taken at that time. And I thought to myself that Alice had set me up. I couldn't believe that Alice would do such a terrible, horrible thing like this to me. What the hell is this? Nick, my husband, turned all pale. And I looked down depressed, thinking that this is the beginning of the end. My name is Fiona, and I am 27 years old, working in a company. I just recently got married to my boyfriend, Nick, who I had been dating for 10 years. I met Nick when I was a sophomore in high school. At the time, I was popular in my class and I dressed in a way that anyone would notice me. Many of the girls I was close to also dressed the same and my friends and I stood out quite a bit when we were talking in a group. Because of this, jocks and guys from the popular group would be all flirty with us. But guys who were just normal and who didn't really belong into any groups did not even try to get close to me. But Nick was different. I think it all started when we sat next to each other. Nick would say hi to me normally and talk to me. And plus, he wouldn't try to talk to me by joking around like how the jocks would do, or he wouldn't be nosy like how some guys in popular groups would do. Nick would just naturally start a conversation with me. So, in a sense, to me at that time, I thought that he was weird. Also, Nick seemed rather relaxed and is the type of person who adjusts to his surroundings, and he has been like that since high school. I was the type of person who wanted to take charge and control within my own pace, so at first I couldn't really understand Nick's personality. Even when everyone in our team had to leave after school, he did everything he could on his own without complaining to get ready for the school event. Since Nick was like that, many other people asked him to do things, and he also accepted their requests, even though he could have refused them. And I got curious, so I asked him one day. I asked him, If you don't want to do something, why don't you just say you don't want to do it? Then, to that, Nick said, What? What do you mean? So I asked him, Aren't you being taken advantage of by everyone? And to that, he replied, Oh, I never thought about it like that. I was somewhat taken aback and became increasingly curious about him. When I heard a rumor that Nick liked brunettes better, I immediately dyed my hair to brown. Seeing me dye my hair, my friends around me were surprised. But, well, didn't change the fact that my skirt was still short though. Since then, Nick and I began to get along well more, and I had a feeling that we both had mutual feelings for each other. And it was on Valentine's Day that we officially began to go out. Nick had told me shyly that he wanted to eat the chocolate I make on Valentine's Day. So, to tease him, I replied saying, Okay, I'll make it for everyone in the class. I wondered how Nick would respond to that, but he looked straight at me and said, No, I want you to make it just for me. He then went on to confess his feelings to me and had asked me to go out with him. When he asked me out, I was so thrilled and excited that my heart felt like it was going to explode. I was very happy and immediately said yes to him. Nick and I have been in love ever since, and after graduating from high school, we both started to work and began living together. Since we both worked, we shared and balanced the house chores without any issues. Then, after 10 years of dating, we finally got married. Since we had lived together for a long time, I thought getting married to him isn't something that new, but I was still somewhat excited to have a newly wedded life. I was excited to start a married life with Nick, and when I saw that my last name had changed, I realized that I was actually married. My husband is as kind as ever, and I feel at ease when I am with him. I am really happy to be married to Nick, but 
recently, there seems to be a little problem. And that was my mother in law, Alice. You're late! Oh, uh, Alice? What's wrong? How long were you planning to make me wait over here? It's too cold that I thought I was going to freeze to death. Let me in your house quickly. Uh, uh, all right. Alice would often come over to our house without giving any prior notice. She starts shouting at me in front of the house, which always makes me nervous that the neighbors might hear Alice screaming. And when I let her in, she would immediately complain. Well, what a dusty room. And you let Nick live in a dirty, dusty place like this? I'm s sorry. It is my husband's responsibility to clean the rooms. But if I tell her that, she might say that she wouldn't want my husband to do the house chores. Well, anyways, make me a tea, will you? As soon as she said that, I served the tea to her. Ugh! What is this? It tastes disgusting. Huh? You can't even brew a tea properly? Wow, you really are useless, Fiona. Hurry up and bring snacks that goes with the tea. I had no choice but to put out some candies I had at home. Huh? Candies? Are you kidding me? Well, I've got no choice here. I didn't know you were coming, Alice. So this is all what we have at home. My goodness. Normally, you would have at least some cookies in stock at your house just in case I might come over, right? You really are an inconsiderate, useless wife. Then, saying that, Alice would just say whatever she wants every single time and leaves the house. I thought she was coming to see my husband. But she always leaves right before he comes home. And she doesn't come only when my husband is at home on his day offs. But I gradually came to understand Alice's intention. In other words, she just wants to bully me. Since she can't do that in front of Nick, she just comes over when I'm alone at home and bullies me and complains to me a lot, then leaves after she feels refreshed. I couldn't really discuss this issue with my husband. I am sure my husband would immediately warn about it to his own mother once I consult him of the issue. But I couldn't really imagine what Alice would do to get back at me after that. So I couldn't talk to my husband about it because I didn't want this to become an even more of a huge hassle than it already was. But for the time being, I told my husband each time Alice came to visit. Alice came over today too. Oh, I see. Did she need something? No, nothing in particular. She just had tea and left. Oh, I see. Well, my mom is always praising you, Fiona. She must really like you. Oh, is that so? To my surprise, Alice was saying good things about me and praising me in front of Nick. By doing so, I guess, she took measures so that my husband would not believe me even if I told on her about her actions toward me. How terrible and rude can she be? I wonder, what's so fun in bullying a person like that? In any case, her bullying did not stop and it continued. Alice, who never got tired of it, came to our house about three times a week, abuses me as much as she likes, and leaves with a look of triumph on her face. I was getting more and more stressed out about it. I became very depressed on my way home from work, wondering if Alice would be there today or not. Why should I even be so nervous just to go home to my own house? This state of mind continued and I finally had enough and couldn't take it anymore. One day, when Alice came over as usual, I had to work a little longer than usual so I came home a little later. Then, I saw Alice waiting for me with a really angry look on her face. You came home late on purpose, didn't you? No, that's not it. I have to quickly go make dinner, so 
Can you please just go home for today? Huh? How dare you order me around? Just hurry up and let me in your house. As expected, I couldn't have an argument with Alice right in front of the porch, so I let her in anyway. Then, I started to cook dinner by just ignoring Alice, but she started nagging at me from the side. Hey, you're supposed to make me a tea first. What a useless wife who never learns. I feel sorry for Nick for having to deal with you as his wife. I think I must have been getting quite frustrated and irritated by Alice at that point. At that moment, my frustration exploded as if a dam had broke. That's it. I've had enough. What is it with you every time? I mean, how much free time do you even have? I'm busy over here doing all the house chores and all. I don't have the time or energy to deal with someone who is as bored as you, Alice. You're not at all any help. And since you're making things worse, could you just please leave? F Fiona, why are you saying such terrible things? I'm doing this and saying this for your sake. Then, can't you be at least a little nicer to me? What you are doing is just bullying me. Don't tell me it's for my own good or some other stupid blatant lie. I cannot ever trust you anymore. Please, just go home. Ah! ah! And with that, Alice ran away all scared. I was absent-minded after that for a while, trying to process what had happened. And just as I realized that about an hour had passed since then, my husband came home. I'm home. Oh, uh, welcome home. I'm sorry, I'm still not done with dinner yet. Oh, is that so? You worked late today? I yeah, a little bit. Honey, what's wrong? Did something happen? Huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing really. I got really tired because of overtime, you know. I see. Then, let's go out to eat today. Huh? Let's go out to a steakhouse. Steakhouse! You get energized if you eat some meat, especially when you're tired. My husband said that and took me out for a steak. It was a nice change of pace and it did cheer me up a little. My husband is still the same wonderful man he always was. A week later, my husband and I were suddenly summoned by Alice. We wondered what was going on, but she insisted that we go over, so we headed for my parents-in-law's house. Oh, thank you for coming all the way over here. Well, well, do come in. My father-in-law was on a business trip and was not home at the time. Mom, what's so important that you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, Nick, honey, there's something I want you to see, actually. Saying that, my mother-in-law Alice smirked and turned on her computer. And then, she began to play a video. And upon seeing that video, I began to realize that this was taken at that time. It was a recorded video of that time when I was yelling at Alice. It seems like Alice took the video from her phone, which was on the dinner table. Did she actually record the video secretly without me knowing that she was recording? In the video, I saw myself yelling at Alice really angrily. What's worse is that the part where I was telling her to stop bullying me were all edited out of the video, and it's just me being hysterical and abusive to Alice, and her being shocked and saddened by me yelling at her. If anybody sees this video without any context, it would seem as if I was harassing and abusing Alice. And I thought to myself that Alice had set me up. I couldn't believe that Alice would do such a terrible, horrible thing like this to me. What the hell is this? Nick, my husband, turned all pale. And I looked down, depressed, thinking that this is the beginning of the end. Oh, Nick, honey, this is who Fiona actually is. You should divorce people like her. Fiona, you... Oh, is this how it's going to end? Our peaceful married life is going to end like this? Then
then my husband came right in front of me and suddenly took both of my hands. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for not being able to notice about anything. Huh? I had no idea that you were suffering that much. I'm not even qualified to be your husband, honey. H hey, uh, Nick, what are you even saying? I'm the victim here. She's the one who has been bullying and abusing me. No, Fiona is not the person who would do such thing. She's very kind and she's an honest person. The only time Fiona gets angry is when someone does something terrible to her. That means you've been doing terrible things to Fiona, right, Mom? Wh what are you talking about? There's no way that I do such things to her. Well, Fiona, what about it? Let me hear the truth. I was being harassed by your mother for a long time. Alice would come over just at the right time when you weren't around, Nick, and she would verbally abuse me as much as she wanted and then just leave. And that video was the day where everything I had been holding back just exploded. And then, by then I was just sobbing and crying with tears coming down my face. Fiona, thank you for telling me the truth. I won't let you go through any pain ever again. Thank you. H hey, Nick, you're being tricked by Fiona, you know. Mom, that's enough. I can't trust you anymore, Mom. From now on, I'm going to cut ties with you, Mom. N no way. And about what happened now, I will make sure to tell Father about it. Don't you ever show your face in front of us again. Oh, no. Alice was so shocked that she fell to her knees. My husband pulled me by the arm and took me home. Oh, Fiona, I'm so sorry. No, I was glad you were on my side. I was also happy when you were saying good things about my personality. What are you talking about? Fiona, you had a kind, straight, and wonderful personality from the very beginning, ever since we met. Huh? I love you, Fiona, for who you are. Wasn't it because I changed my hair color and dressed more normally? Huh? Oh, no way. I was attracted with your personality and with how you were. Besides, even if you had blonde hair or brown hair, you were still really cute to me. My husband says shyly like that. I just couldn't help but adore him more and love him more and more. I'm really glad I married Nick. After that, after hearing what happened, my father-in-law gave a huge lecture to Alice and he had told Alice to work if she has that much time in the world to bully me. And now, she is forced to work part-time at a supermarket. But, since she had been a housewife all her life, she was slow at learning her job and she comes home exhausted after being yelled by the manager every single day. Well, Alice deserves what she got. Meanwhile, my husband and I moved out so that Alice would not come over again. Free from the stress caused by Alice, I finally became pregnant and had a baby. Now our family of three is living happily every day together. Is it even that fun for a mother-in-law to bully a wife? I mean, after you bully someone, don't you feel guilty at all? Well, I guess not because Alice doesn't seem to have any normal senses. But still, how could such a wonderful son be born from such a person like Alice? I wonder if his personality is also like his father. I wish I could meet a man like Fiona's husband. At any rate, I hope that Fiona and her family can continue to live happily. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.